What's the closest thing to an Attack on Titan build that I could come up with in good old Path of Exile? What would that even look like? My gears started turning, and three things became clear to me. 1. Whatever skill I chose to use as my main attack, I need to fit in chain hooks somehow. It's the closest thing to the insanely cool ODM gear that all the main characters of the show use, and no other skill in the game looks remotely similar. 2. I need to dual wield swords, preferably long katana looking things. Now, as far as I know, the only swords in the game that look like that, MTX included, are Ichimanjis. But Ichimanjis have a fairly significant weakness in that they're terrible. So they're getting stuck with MTX duty. And lastly 3, I suck at making builds. Now I know what you're thinking, you can't be that bad, you've been playing for 8 years, oh yeah? Watch me. My initial idea was this, I'd go Raider cause playing Raider is the POE equivalent of being Sonic the Hedgehog and every character in Attack on Titan flies at a bazillion miles per hour, so it was the only choice. Also, Mikasa is a girl and a badass. I was thinking chain hook from ability and clear and going for a full 6 link class rate setup for single target since that would be pretty thematically appropriate, you know, because of the blood. Well, turns out that was a terrible idea. Standing still in 2022 still gets you killed instantly and I had to drop the last rate idea pretty quickly. So then I figured, okay, why not just focus on chain hook after all? Sure, it takes a bit of getting used to, but it's not the craziest idea I've ever had. As someone who has never tried Flicker Strike yet, I feel like Chain Hook is a nice introduction to the classic Jesus Take the Wheel archetype, and would not recommend it to anyone. For the longest time, I was trying to make dual Dreadbeaks work, with the whole low life, petrified blood, and dissolution of the flesh combo that people have been talking about lately. On paper, it all seemed pretty good, the numbers weren't crazy, but we're talking about one chaos items here. In practice, god damn, guys, it was awful. The damage was mediocre at best, and survivability? Ha! <laughs> What's survivability? I couldn't finish the uber lap. The uber lap. When is the last time you couldn't do uber lap on one of your builds? No. I was stuck. This character was going nowhere fast. There were only two real options. Option A. Embrace the meta and go omniscience like literally 24% of the level 100 characters in the league and make the game a joke. Or option B. Fall back on the old paradox and savior combo that has saved every non-slam melee build for the last couple of years. Classy. Of course I went with option B. Mikasa ain't doing no elemental damage. Levi Ackerman ain't doing no elemental damage. Aaron Yeager ain't doing no... Oh, okay, okay, you get the point. No, we go full fizz with a little side of bleed because, uh, well, the, 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 there's a lot of blood in the show. I ditched this solution to the flesh and petrified blood, picked up an impale paradoxica, and got myself a savior. That's when I learned that savior only works on crits, so now I had no choice but to switch to crit and invest into crit jewels and get an expensive crit plus spell suppression chest and some tailwind boost and a bottled faith of course. Also I had this belt lying around. Anyways, once I fixed all that up, it was pretty smooth sailing to be honest. I don't think this will ever be a good boss killer by any means, but as far as a decent mapper goes, these changes brought it from struggling to keep up in mid yellow maps to flying through most tier 16s with and without Headhunter. Arn's anguish is really good and cheap. For some extra deeps and out of respect for the cosplay, I use either Enduring or Intimidating Cry on left click, depending on which belt I'm running at the time. I'm also using Berserk whenever I'm fighting a boss of sorts or the blue man group as long as I've got the rage for it. At some point, Attack on Titan decided that giant explosions should be part of the series too, so I made sure to have Devastator on my cluster jewel. Ultimately, I don't think I would play this again, but as far as coming up with an Attack on Titan themed build goes, I think it was pretty successful and I had fun throwing it together. As always, I'll leave my path of building link in the description for you to scrutinize and point out everything I'm doing wrong. I'm going to be busy moving real soon, so don't expect much from me for the next couple of weeks. But if you hit that subscribe button, you'll be the first to know when I upload the next one. Also, if you enjoyed this style of video, please consider hitting the like button so that YouTube knows to share it with other people just like you, and it helps me out. Take care everyone, stay safe, and check out this short video about my Fireball League starter while I'm packing up some boxes. Elemental damage.